You know, I really wish that this, this was a 3D camera that I'm recording with. Not the fancy new high-tech James Cameron cameras used in Avatar, but the ones that project red and blue images. That way, you can get an idea of how gimmicky the 3D in this movie actually is. <laughs> So Jaws 3D is the third in the unnecessary Jaws series, similar to how The Hangover 3 didn't need to exist. So this premise is actually interesting. It takes place at SeaWorld in Orlando, Florida, and then a shark makes its way in there, starts killing off some employees, and it's up to Michael Brody, played by Dennis Quaid, and his marine biologist girlfriend to stop it. So after Jaws 2 came out, producers David Brown and Richard Zanuck decided to try to make the third movie a spoof, but Universal didn't want that to happen. So they, along with Roy Scheider, just abandoned the project. Although I'm sure Roy Scheider said, no, I am not coming back for a third movie. If you so once that happened, Universal decided to take advantage of the 3D trend that was going on at the time. And thankfully that trend died out quickly because we'll, we'll get to that later. And the production designer for the first Jaws movie, Joe Alves, decided to be director on this movie. And if you thought Jaws 2 was bad, then you haven't seen this movie yet. Let me actually start out with a positive. The story, or the setup at least, is kind of interesting. Actually, that's about it. all that's good about this movie, or at least interesting. The idea of putting it in SeaWorld is interesting i like the idea that the shark is no longer attacking the same beach town but rather a really popular theme park area although there's a little error the shark swims into the theme park but if you were to look at a map SeaWorld and all the other florida theme parks are in orlando which is basically dead center of the state so how exactly did the shark just swim into the theme park to begin with I mean, when I reviewed Jaws 3D on my video blog channel, I just said, I don't know, maybe he pulled a Slender Man and teleported there. Because, I mean, at the time, in 2012, Slender Man was a big thing, so, hey, why not? But that's the only theory I could come up with. Maybe he pulled a Slender Man and just teleported there, just went poof, shark in SeaWorld. Some of the acting is meh. I mean, it, I mean, it does feature Leah Thompson in this before she did Back to the Future. So I guess that's kind of neat. Uh, the shark attacks are very, just, you can't see what's going on at all. Very sporadic, poorly edited. And the shark itself looks awful. I mean, it is the fakest of the bunch. Yes, even faker than in Jaws the Revenge. But what really kills this movie is the 3D. I mean, this was during the 3D phase where 3D was cheap and it just looked very unimpressive. Like, if you look at something like Friday the 13th Part 3, there's like the spear gun that's on a string that's flying towards the camera. That looks awful. This one, just horrible use of 3D. I mean, there's just uh, random props like going in towards the camera. The credits try to push out on the screen. And really, they don't use a lot of 3D when it comes to the shark. I mean, probably the most infamous use of the 3D in this movie is when the shark literally floats towards the underwater base, and then when it hits the glass, stops. Oh, and then there's flying jaws at the screen. I'm just glad that we don't live in that era of 3D, because now 3D is everywhere, and the best use of 3D I found is very atmospheric, like something like an avatar, gravity, life of pi, etc. Something that just uses the environment to make it seem realistic. Granted, there are some movies that use 3D as a gimmick where it just like pokes stuff at the screen, but it, their movies are never good. So there's really not much else to say about Jaws 3D. I mean, it's really stupid, terrible special effects, cheesy 3D. The acting is very mediocre at best. I mean, I don't think anyone is terrible in the movie, but they're just not all that good either. So unless you had the right amount of beer and weed, then you might be able to sit through this movie and laugh at everything just ridiculous about it. The cheesy 3D, just the overall movie you might get a laugh at if you were high or drunk. But other than that, just don't waste your money. It's not very good. It is a huge step down considering what the first movie was. 
And I'm honestly surprised the series didn't die with Jaws 3D, but that's another review for Saturday. And that's my review for Jaws 3D. Leave a comment and tell me what you thought of the movie. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff in the future. You can check out my video blog channel, AlexG462. You can find links to my Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram accounts on this YouTube page. Go check me out at letterbox.com under the name Mr. Robinson, as well as my written reviews on Geek Damp Nation. Share me with your friends and tell them about me. And remember to know it before you see it. This is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one. I'll see you guys later.